Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am in the girls room. We finally have set this place up. We still have to hang up a ton of art stuff and wall stuff, but it's basically almost ready. And I can't believe how close it is to us having baby girl. I feel like I haven't updated you guys on forever on my pregnancy. But I am currently right now 27 weeks pregnant. But I'm going to update you guys on my 21st through 26th week of pregnancy. Um, a lot has not actually happened, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, I still have a little bit of morning sickness during the day. It's normally right when I wake up and as soon as I have breakfast, it, normally, it usually just goes away. I feel super out of breath. I feel so exhausted all the time. It's kind of insane. Um, I just booked an appointment with a chiropractor not too long ago. I'm going to start seeing her next week. So I'm really excited about that because I did not go to a chiropractor with any of my other two. And I regret it a lot because with Amelia, I was miserable. And I already feel like I'm 35 weeks pregnant and I still have 12 weeks to go till she should be here. So I feel like I need to see a chiropractor and I need some help because my brown ligament pain is real I have a back pain already I can't get out of bed on my own sometimes I need help from my husband and I really feel like I'm super pregnant really I'm only two-thirds of the way into my pregnancy I feel like time is just flying by <laughs> it's insane another thing I experienced these past like four weeks is just like how much I've been breaking out. I don't have any makeup on, just a little bit of mascara, but honestly, you guys, I've been just breaking out like crazy. I've actually tried not to put a lot on my face to see if it will help, but I've just been breaking out under here and a lot of my forehead. You probably won't be able to tell, but here, you know, Amelia. Yeah? Is, are you saying let it go? Bye watching Frozen and anytime the song Let It Go comes on she needs to let me know that Let It Go is on. <laughs> Another thing I've been feeling is I have the urge to nest and it's a little crazy. I didn't feel like this happened to me till later in my pregnancy. I feel like it's really early to experience this. I remember with Ethan and Amelia I experienced this at around maybe 30, 30 week mark and up. But I'm only 27 weeks pregnant and I just feel like the urge to declutter, to clean, to deep clean, to just nest, organize, like kind of reorganize my entire home. It's a lot because I am very adamant about it. I need help moving things and I feel so bad for my husband because obviously he needs to help me with all of the heavy lifting and moving around. So I just have this urge to nest and to organize like never before. Another thing that has been changing for me, and this is a little TMI, but that goes without saying because it is a pregnancy update and obviously we're going to talk about Mama. the body. I've been experiencing a lot of discharge down there, if you know what I mean. Maybe if, have, if, if you've been pregnant before, then you know what that's like. I Obviously, it's very uncomfortable. It's not the best. I don't like it. <laughs> I've had to wear uh, panty liners now because it's that bad. So I've just noticed an increased amount of discharge lately. Uh, I did talk to my doctor about it. She says it's completely, completely normal. So I'm not concerned or worried about it. Um, as far as baby goes, I feel so much movement from her. She moves so much and actually it hurts sometimes because she kicks so hard. You can already see all of her movements outside of my belly. My husband is able to feel her and we can actually see it. I've caught it on camera like twice already, but it is like the sweetest thing ever and she's mostly active during the night. Another thing that's new to me that I never experienced with any of my other two is itchiness. I have, during the nighttime before bed, I get like hives. It's, I'm so itchy everywhere. I don't know what it is. It's crazy and it only lasts for about 15 minutes and then it'll go away on its own but I get super itchy I have to put lotion on I need a massage from my husband I need like help to relieve the itchiness because it's so bad I feel like I have hives I feel like I'm having a reaction to something and I was reading that that could be a pregnancy symptom I'm not sure but that is something I've experienced for the past week and a half already it's just itchiness and like just 
very uncomfortable with my skin and like I don't know I just feel like I have a ton of mosquito bites and it's already making me itchy right now thinking about it but um I don't know if I've already like mentally put that in me because now every night I'm kind of preparing myself for it so I don't know if that's like kind of throwing it off or making me feel itchy if that makes any sense but um I will be talking to my doctor about this in my next appointment which is on Tuesday I'm gonna be getting my glucose test I cannot believe I'm getting a glucose test next week in like four days. I've had a lot of pain and I've started to get a little bit of itchiness on my belly so I've been applying a lot of creams. I haven't noticed any new stretch marks. I have a ton of stretch marks from Amelia and Ethan so I haven't noticed a big difference in that aspect but I have noticed that I'm very itchy and I know those are signs of stretch marks so I have been applying cream every night and that really helps another thing is I'm already having Braxton Hicks contractions so I don't get them all the time but I usually notice them in the morning time and in the night time I'll get them my belly gets super super hard they're not very painful at all I know how to tell the difference between real contractions and a Braxton Hick contraction. They're very different. But um, yeah, my belly just gets really, really hard. And it just kind of tenses up all of your muscles. And I've been feeling that. And I know that it's normal to get that around this time. So that's another symptom I've had probably the last two weeks. And I, it, it's so funny because each time it happens, I run to tell my husband so he can feel my belly. And he gets so, like, grossed out by it. He's like, oh my gosh, like, doesn't that hurt? He is, like, when it comes to my pregnancy and all that, he loves the pregnancy part of it. He loves the birth and all of that. It doesn't gross him out at all. Like, he has literally seen me give birth. And, like, the moment the baby's born, he has held them. And he's not grossed out by birth at all or blood. But just... <laughs> anything like a belly or contractions anything that has to do with like muscles and just seeing my belly tense up and get really hard or when he sees her move a lot and he can see it through my belly it kind of grosses him out a little bit he's like oh my gosh doesn't that hurt after two kids he just hasn't got used to it and now with the third he still gets just as grossed out by it he thinks it's just a little weird and awkward so let's talk about baby girl she is currently 1.6 to 2 pounds already which is insane like that is like a mini baby and she's around 14 inches long so she's not as tiny anymore and according to the bump app that i have on my phone this is the app i use it's my favorite one i get a lot of questions on what apps i use i use the bump app and i also use the ovia pregnancy app or ovia i'm not sure how to say it but i like both of them a lot but i like the bump app best according to ovia the baby is as big as a butternut squash so what i like about the ovia app is you can kind of see your baby's progress like how big her hands are how big her feet are and i think that's really really cool but i like the bump app better because there's a lot of reading and i feel like um they just explain more of what's going on in that week but the baby according to the bump app is as big as a kale i don't know i always buy frozen kale so i've never seen like an entire big thing of kale but i guess that's pretty big i guess i know i said she was being very active but also another thing i've noticed is that there has been a decrease in her activity but um that's because she's getting bigger and she's running out of room so she's i don't feel a lot of like the flutters i used to feel or a lot of the quick movements it's just kind of like one hard movement every now and then um and I was a little concerned, I want to say, a week ago because I feel like they radically changed to just being slower movements. Thankfully, I have a Doppler. And I know that a Doppler is not a diagnosis. Like, I know things can happen. Babies can be in distress. And I'm not a doctor. But it is a relief to know that she's fine and, like, her heart is beating and all of that. But um, I did notice the past two weeks just kind of a decrease in her movements. But her movements and her kicks are a lot harder, if that makes sense. Um, they're not as like fluttery and just like quick little moves or little gases. They're more like, here's a punch, mom. I'm good. But, you know, I can't move a lot in here. Uh, so that is one thing. I've just felt her moves kind of decrease a little. So I think it's just going to be like that for like the next, I don't know. 10 weeks <laughs> so according to this baby's eyes are starting to open and she has eyelashes and now she like has all of her features ready so she has hair 
and we can kind of tell her apart she kind of looks like a baby this week i did have to take out my big huge belly pillow that i have my pregnancy pillow thank god i saved that with amelia because that thing was like 60 bucks i remember but it was a lifesaver and honestly it's been saving my life now because i can't find a comfortable way to sleep i used to sleep on my belly before i was pregnant it was very hard for me to adjust differently and to sleep like on my sides i don't know i just it's so hard for me but with the pillow and the support it gives me it makes sleeping so much easier so i know it's just gonna get harder as the weeks go by um but i really feel like i'm getting towards the end even though i still have 11 weeks 11 to 12 weeks to go so I know that's nothing and that'll go by so so quick but i definitely feel like i'm getting close to the end and yeah i feel like the uncomfortable part is coming well guys that is all i have to update you guys on the baby not a lot has changed i feel like i've said a lot of the same things i've said in my prior videos i just want to document this for you guys if you guys are first time moms if you guys want a pregnancy update or want to compare your pregnancies with other moms i think these videos are great i also want to document this for myself this is our last baby so i want to be able to look back and to be able to watch this video and show her this video and just remember everything i felt because these times do not come back i wish i would have done this with my other two kids but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below and i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next video